But right now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the final of our international guests at the conference. Vo Trong Nha graduated from Hanoi Architecture University before studying architecture at the Nagoya Technolo Technology Institute at the University of Tokyo. At Nagoya, Nya won the Furuichi Award of the Tokyo University for his MA thesis on the subjects of aerodynamics, wind, and water. In 2006, Nya established his own practice in Vietnam. Vo Trong Nya Architects is recognized for experimenting with light, wind, and water, and for the prioritization of natural and local materials within its designs. And the practice has focused on low cost, high quality housing. And given what we've seen today, I think this is very much in tune with uh, what we are all thinking about. In 2012, Nya was named Vietnam's Architect of the Year. He recently featured on an episode of the Al Jazeera documentary series, Rebel Architecture, which can be viewed uh, online. And if you haven't already seen it, I can highly recommend it. Ladies and gentlemen, Vo Trong Nha. So uh, thank you very much to invite me here. It's really beautiful city and beautiful uh, weather. And this is the first time I came to, uh, come to uh, New Zealand. And uh, almost, we are almost the uh, same area, like uh, the, the sites of the country. But uh, you just have around 5 million people, right? In Vietnam, we have 90 million. Totally situation uh, different. So that's why I explain you the situation of the, the society, situation of uh, nature, situation of population, of uh, pollution, and uh, many things. And the different thing is you have a huge amount of, of forest, of uh, wood. Uh, mountain, but in our country, we almost don't have any timber anymore. So uh, the same situation, like then I was in Japan, they have a lot of uh, timber. So they are required to make like school by timber, they make house by timber is cheaper than concrete. But in Vietnam, the opposite, the timber is really luxury uh, material. And uh, let me show you, this is the Ho Chi Minh City. We have a lot of like tube house and the density. Only Ho Chi Minh City, we already have almost 10 million people in the city. Then because of that, we lack of greenery. And let me show you here the Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, Kuala Lumpur, and Ho Chi Minh City. I mean the idea of the, the, the greenery per person. Then because of that, the pollution, the floods, the overheat, and inactive people is increasing. And our dream is now the city is like this, then we want to make it like this to increase the greenery for the city like Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh. And we show you uh, one case by one case how we do with the small house, the tuber house, uh, the school, the university, and the big master, master plan. And here is the Hau Fort Tree. The, we design a house like a tree pot to plant really big tree on the top of the house. And we use the bamboo texture box among the greenery. And the house with a lot of cord yes, and uh, it uh, between box and extend the living space to the outside. 
and here is uh, we use the concrete and uh, a brick and uh, uh, concrete uh, for for uh, flooring and ceiling like this. The local the house for tree that means you think a house, but in our company we do only house for tree. That means when the client come, we ask them that is. We just do how for tree. Are you happy with that? And they say yes, and the next staff. <laughs> Otherwise, we don't do. That is, and we use every house like a small uh, uh, park for the city because we don't have any green uh, anymore, so we, we want to increase that. And then this, this will be finished in very soonly, this is finished already, and this uh, before Lunar New Year, that means two weeks later, it will be finished too. And this is under construction, this is uh, almost finished, and this is uh, start after one, one month. Then uh, we hope we do the half for tree uh, once, and then after that, <coughs> We want to control the client by first ask them that is uh, they are happy with like do how for tree, and then uh, because uh, in Ho Chi Minh or Hanoi they don't have the greenery, so every client they almost accept with our requirement. Then the first one is uh, the stacking green, and the second one we do with this. And the next one is we uh, cover all the renovation of house, so an old house by all of green like this. And this is the first time we plant the big tree on the house. But now we almost the house, we, we do the big, because we think that it's let up maintenance and it can do like a big, uh, uh, like a small park for the, uh, the the, the community. And the concept is really simple. The f we have st three staff. First, we cut this, then make it up and under the house. And we have the house, it look like this. And here the Singapore, here's the New Zealand around here, but the climate here, we don't have the winter. Like, all the year from like uh, 15 to, 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 to 40, 20 to 40. And then the site is really high density, like residents close to the airport at the center of the Ho Chi Minh City. And around is look like this with the steel roof with high density around. And then they have the plot here like this, and now it's really easy. You look up from the, the Google, that is you zoom up very, very easy to recognize because they only here have the green. <laughs> uh, they have the oh how and access to here. Then the house with uh, five boxes and with the, and then they create a lot of courtyards around like this. Here, library, dining, bathroom, uh, the meditation, and the kitchen. And here, the back room, this, uh, the storage, one more back room, and go. Oh. One more back room here, small one. And then the, the space, the courtyard with different character. Like every way is totally different. And here is the dining, and uh, library is open to meet the cost like this. And here is the back room with the green around framing like this. And here is the small back room like panorama on the top to see whole house like this the steel bridge to provide view to the court, yes. R roof, 
set of uh, and the tree. And five boxes with different different heights to create like like the vertical forest. And the the tree is planned like like this. We make the double here. And the the Ho Chi Minh City is the area of like Mekong Delta, so that's why they they uh, um, a lot of floods almost every month because sea level rise. And then with the rain, then we have to preserve the, the water when it's raining to keep the water on the top of the houses to reduce the water to, to the river to reduce the, the flood. Then the bamboo uh, texture and visual interesting like like this the bamboo when we do the form work we put the bamboo in and then pour the concrete and take it out then we have we have this texture and it's really simple to do the bamboo form work like like this way and we plant this kind of tree is really easy to to, to, to maintain and almost don't need to maintain and like the layout of the, 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 the tree is like this with the concrete and some uh, uh, waterproofing and uh, uh, like this way. And I think it's the same in, in New Zealand. It, the tree is really low cost too. It's just a $200 per one big tree like this. Then if we plan like 10 of that, it costs just 2,000. And we do like two way of the wind ventilation with the small window like this. Then it activate and with the cord just around. And this uh, almost we don't use the air conditioning. Of course, we do. We design two way. They can choose air conditioning or or, or or natural ventilation. And the tree now they make the big shadow on the top of the house. So even in the hot summer of uh, Ho Chi Minh City, they don't need the the air conditioning. And the house just costs one hundred fifty six thousand U.S. dollar. It looked like this. And the next house is uh, the most, I think, almost the house in Vietnam with tuba house like this. 4, 20, 4, 15, or 5, 20, 4, uh, 5, 10, or something like this. This is really typical. So we try to make with like the vertical and all mode of the, the, the master plan of the Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi is look like this with really less of greenery and the tuber house like this with really dark and, 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 and humidity. And outside the same is here with four, uh, three, three point nine fine, uh, to 20 meter. And then we do, we try to, because the total area of this is just 250 square meter. I mean, the, the, uh, the floor area. Then that's why we try to make the green cover around the, the house. It's like this, very narrow with 3.95 meter. And the, we design a green pot. And here is the inside facade to see, like this. And everywhere in this house, we can see the greenery, like this, even here. And we have the bedroom, living, dining here. And the master bedroom here, and the, here is study. It can be a small, small bedroom with the bath and, and, and shower here, shower and, and toilet here. Then here is the master bedroom. 
Here is the bedroom uh, at the ground floor. Here is the living room. Here is the rooftop garden. Here is the, 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 the uh, at the ground floor. Here is the sea from the, the dining to the living room. Here is the master bedroom to see both way and the bath here and the bedroom here. Here is the study on top. And uh, we think that to do the, uh, we, we do the like greenery here and the air here and the glass here. So you can open it to the, the wind go through this to make it like double skin in proper way. We are thinking that in the, uh, like in America or Europe or, or Japan, they make the double skin. That mean glass, air and glass or something like that. But we think for the area like Ho Chi Minh or even in here, the double skin should be like green, air, and glass. That's better to, to, to ventilate and, and, and for like comfortable living. And here is the living room. Again, every area with the outside and inside together. Here's the staircase. We use the uh, nature sunlight to day, daily like this. And here is the kitchen. And this is the invite uh, diagram. We make the double skin around the house and it's to protect the, and you, you know, in Ho Chi Minh, they have 10 million people. So the city is really crowded and, and noisy. So that's why the greenery like this, they, they stop the noise around and also the, the, the sunlight and also the, the wind can go through like this to make like filter for the house. Like we define that is a double skin, that means green air and glass is it like this. That is the tropical way of double skin. And we calculate to be sure that everywhere in the house with like vent good ventilation. And after build this one, we do the survey, and then independent company do, did this, and they, this is the results of the survey for the wind flow everywhere in, in this house, average. And then uh, we, next we could like to talk about uh, one Kindergarten, we call it is a farming kindergarten. It's uh, for 500 kids. It's with the green roof continuous like this. And cause yes with the safe playground for the children. For the Vietnamese future generation and the, the Ho Chi Minh City here, and the, the location of the farming kindergarten is here, with a lot of factory, a lot of worker there. So this is the site, and this is the, the, the factory with the, the big kid industrial city in Vietnam. Then this, are you wearing Nike or Adidas? This is made from this factory. With, uh, they have three factories in Ho Chi Minh City. One is 90,000 90, worker. And here with uh, 20,000 worker is working here. So a lot of children here, then they need a, 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 a kindergarten here. So we build, we design for the factory worker children. In fact, 
at the beginning, we, we, we do the competition with other design, not this one. I mean, I mean we, we think that it's really, really hard to convince them to make this farming kindergarten, uh, the kindergarten for the, the, the worker. Then we do the design is different. Then after winning the, the competition, <laughs> we convince them to make this. <laughs> That's a, long, a little bit long process, but it really, and you know, in, in, in Vietnam, the, the architecture is really, I think, really slow level. So that's why we, 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 we try to make like a little bit step. Like for example, how for tree, we do that for, for free and we ask the client like, uh, if we do for you for free, let us do uh, what we want, that is. <laughs> so, so. So this uh, this same thing, and then I win with the other project, and at the end I the oh, hey, wait a moment, I want to do the more more unique one, more 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 environmental friendly, more like uh, so the problem of the Vietnamese uh, uh, city. Then uh, they is they said okay, I will wait for you one more more month, and I saw this design. Then they say it can be expensive, but. Uh, just a little bit, and you will see here, uh, but they have unique thing like this, and then the worker is really happy to, to let them children come here. And the concept is uh, pr uh, provide safe playground and safe food and teach the children the importance of agriculture. In Vietnam, you know, the Mekong Delta with big area to make the rice for the world, like, and then Ho Chi Minh, we don't have any greenery and any space to teach them how important of agriculture. And this is really simple, but the landscape is like this. Then it, this shape is really fit with this land, but with just one stroke like this. And the children is around here and easy to connect the, maximize the, the activity space to the roof easily. They can go from here, go, 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 and back at the same place. And then, because you know, in Ho Chi Minh, the, ch the children go to the school and back to the s small house with concrete around. They don't have any greenery around. Then that's why 75% of the children in Ho Chi Minh cities are inactive children. So that's why we try to maximize the play space for them. And uh, we uh, are realizing the vegetable uh, rooftop for the children. And the worker, they are working there. They come here to make the farming, to provide the food for their children. And we have three different courtyards at safe playground because it's covered by the school around like this. Here, the courtyards. And the courtyards is connected by the PDOTI like this. And then it's in hand the space for the children to go freely. Like this, the PDT space, and it connects to the, the, the top rope. And the corridor go around. And here, with two and three years old here, three to four, four to five, like this. And here is uh, four to five for the uh, part of uh, them is on the second floor. And the other is a music room at Min or something like that. Every function is under green roof. Here is the gymnasium. <laughs> and we make the small connection to the outside to enhance the ventilation to the, the airflow to the courtyard and to the classroom. And this is the vertical connection to the courtyard to the roof. 
because it has to hear like a stage and a small uh, staircase for them. In the classroom, we share two classrooms, share one uh, toilet like this, and we make the connection to the outside with, with this. And here is, uh, we use green roof, existing three, open number window, uh, deep if, solar water heater, and green facade on the louver, and we recycle the water from the factory. We don't have to keep the water from here because huge amount of uh, factory we can use for the toilet, for the greenery here. And the next is uh, soil, layer for the green roof, like the as uh, insulation for the, 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 the summer. And we do the computer an ana analysis for be sure everywhere in this with the airflow. And now is the trees go off and cover the, the, the louver. work like this. Here is the concrete the louver, the window here. <laughs> and here is uh, the, the existing tree, and the tree we combine together, and here is uh, the, the bench for the, the children. And in, in Vietnam, we have heavy rain, so deep if go around to protect the children from the heavy rain and harsh sunrise. And the water from the factory we use for, the, for the, the, the grass and the tree and the toilet. Uh, we use all, almost LED for the, the lamp, light. Using the heat water by solar energy. And here, at the end, we just uh, spent 1,900,000 US dollar for, for build this uh, uh, kindergarten for the, for the worker. And uh, the next is uh, now uh, is uh, uh, finished the construction. This is APT University, 1,100 square meter uh, gross uh, floor area up to this uh, campus. And we designed this like uh, uh, the same situation how to greenery, make the green of the university for the, like a park for the city. Then the same with the half for tree, but we stuck it like this. We stuck the, the, the pot together to make the facade, and then we have the facade like this. But the, this look really complicated, but the system is simple the column inside this, through this, everywhere. Then just uh, put the pot outside that and uh, put the air conditioning machine here. I mean, the, 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 uh, they don't have enough budgets, so they use the small, every small uh, uh, air, conditioning, air conditioning for the classroom. And uh, even sometime in Vietnam, the, the, um, the electric out, then in that case, they open the window for, 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 for the air ventilation. And it close to Hanoi is Hoa Lak. The site here, and the university now, the area like this. And we do this building for the gateway into the, the, the university. Now, or some building there is look like this, and we do this is uh, uh, a little bit, and 
at this moment, they make until here, and now 100% is finished, and then they are using the building. Do we modularization the system of this and to realize the low cost and fast construction? And the system of one port is like this, the three port, the air, con air conditioning, and the plant uh, here, and the, 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 the timber decks, and the tree on that. And we make like this, the shadow. And the system is simple, the column is come here and put that on. And this is the gate to the university. And this green roof, is also can be like for the activity because it close to the dormitory, dormitory and the, the people can go up, go down like work course, like exercise. <laughs> okay. The system is really simple like this. And they, they, we make the green around the classroom to make big shadow for the Hot sunshine in Ho uh, in Vietnam. We the summer is like 40 degrees Celsius. It, I think it's hotter than here. And uh, next is the most important of uh, uh, my company. We spent almost three years to make the house for the. Uh, for the uh, uh, low, low income people. Um, I think for all almost architects, we are we, we, we willing to, to design a house, a building, a, a school for like a little bit big money for the rich people. But almost like, like you like in Ukraine here, they, uh, they have the war. And they losing their house. They need a house or for in uh, Philippines for typhoon, for storm. Then they lost their house or in Vietnam, Mekong Delta because of the floods. And I think more than thirty percent of, of of people is need really simple and small house. But to do the design for them is really hard. We try to to do this house with. 30 square meter, and it should be like 4,000 US dollar. It's almost impossible. That's why we need to design again and again and again uh, for this type of the house. And this is when I do the farming kindergarten. Here, the construction site, I do the, uh, 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 I did the, like uh, the, for the, construction site office, and we test the first uh, model of the uh, low-cost income house. And this is really low-cost, but it fell because really hot with this one. This look nice, but hot. Hot and not durable with the... Because the low-income people, they their house is in, for, for example, in Mekong Delta, just three years, five years, they have to reduce again. Then the house should be like permanent, at least 30 years or 50 years, like requirement, because they, 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 they hate the, to redo a house and again and again. For, they take all of their life to make the house. Again, they earn a little bit money and make the house and living in there three or five years, and then they have to make the house again, again and again like that. And this, we do the first with the steel frame and bamboo, and uh, and that is fail because we think that is it not it is not durable, and. It's very hard to live in. Then we try to make the next stuff with this concrete. But you know, in Mekong Delta and somewhere in the world, they don't have infra, like, uh, like the roads to go there. 
And this kind of concrete beam from here to here is really heavy. To, to take them to there, so it is comfortable one, but it's very heavy, and then if you want to control the cost with 1,000 US do 4,000 US dollar, that means they have to assembling the house by themselves, not us go there. So we, we failed with this again, even it's really durable, and they can replace the material around and even the roofing to do easily. But, and this on Al Jazeera, this one. But the next one is uh, not today here, but on the CNN, they shooting the next staff with the SHOW 3. Then we are doing the SHOW 3, and we find out some mistake, and then now we do the SHOW 4. And then we, we plan to make the producing to the war, uh, mass product to sell to the war, and we control that is uh, less than 4,000 US dollar. That is our, 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 our ambition. That's why we, and the next version, we just need three hours to assembling. And every element is less than 60 kilograms. Then, because if we don't do that, that means the worker, uh, not the worker, the farmer, they cannot do by themselves. And for example, five of them, 10 of them need to do that. If we assembling by ourselves, that means it's costly. That's over 4,000 US dollar. So that's why we, we, we try to make the efforts to de redesign again and again. That's important. So, uh, last, uh, we show you some of our bamboo project. This is the first one, is uh, Win and Water Cafe in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, from this project, we find out that to make the big shadow, big roofing, big tree, and uh, water, and it work like uh, nature, air conditioning. We don't have to use air conditioning anymore because we don't have to winter there. So this one with the steel column inside and almost the material is bamboo, but the, the structure is steel, steel structure. Then we try with the next one with the pure bamboo structure. is work like this, and the hand mix thing, and in this case, we make the frame by unit. We manufacture at the same place, and uh, uh, copying to like, f here is a 48, uh, the unit of this, and make the circle. And then you have, we have the, the, the dome like this. It's very simple and really easy to control the or the quality of the bamboo structure. And in this case, we we challenging with the big cantilever. It two side uh, 12 meter with the bamboo. Only pure bamboo structure like this. Like this. And we call it is a bamboo wing because of the wing like this support. And it's really complicated the structure system here, but we we would like to really like the, the yes. And the, with the water and the greenery around to make the uh, the space without air air conditioning. And the people is sit out on between the water, and big shadow and the tree. And we do, the next one is, is really far away from Hanoi. It takes seven hours from Hanoi by the mountain to the, uh, close to the China and Laos. And it, because it's far away from Hanoi, so it's really hard to take the material from Hanoi to there. 
So that's why this is the first time we try to use the bamboo in that place with the straight bamboo like this. And combination with the stone there. And we make like the bamboo forest like this. And because it's far away, so it, the most important is to fix the detail of this. One kind of detail is to join the, 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 um, the floor. It's the same to join here. And one more detail is this only one kind of detail, a two kind of detail of the, the join. And then make it simple, like everywhere the same. Same, same, same detail. And we make one mock up and, that, and then let the work to do continue. Like this. And we use this and this join and the, the join to the, the floor is the same, the same, same join. And combination with the stone and bamboo roofing is look like this. Some of the box is uh, under the roofing, some is over, and then make many different space. You can see here. Like this is under space. Here, go off, and then, and the last one I would like to show you is uh, 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 um, the Milano Expo Vietnamese Pavilion. This one in Vietnamese, uh, the government, they just have, uh, at the beginning, they tell me that they just have 1.5 million US dollar, no more than that. And then including design and, 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 and construction. And it's almost impossible impossible to make it in the most expensive city like Milan. They have the site at 800 square meter, not big. And then we, I try to combine with the bamboo and the greenery here because the theme is like, thing, I don't remember, but maybe energy for life or something like that. And then we, we try to make it simple and even the cost for exhibition inside is almost no, really low. Then we try to, to show this project at uh, exhibition uh, too. Then here is, uh, we, in this case, not pure bamboo st structure because uh, it's short time, then we install the steel inside and the pot on top of that and bamboo uh, uh, like support and decoration around, and we put the pot for the tree, and we have fortified that pot to cover the space inside, like this. And at the end, we also have to like do this design for free because the budget, uh, uh, budget at the end is 2.2 million, only 2.2 million US dollar to build this in Milan. So uh, we tried to convince our partner there to do this uh, uh, building with low cost too, then because they like this design, then they agree with that, that is they can uh, put money into this uh, building and then uh, help us to realize this uh, pavilion. Because it, even it's small, but it like flower, like forest, like, that in the the, the, uh, the the Milano Expo. And the interior is really simple. They have the stage and just like this. And thank you very much for listening. <laughs>